right here in Wrocław, Poland, one of the landmarks that survived the bombings of World War II and still stands intact. All right, here we go. Down to our final match of the morning. It is the men's team gold medal match. And Germany, the 10th seed, out of the tunnel first, led by Florian Kalund. So Germany, which had a great week, which ended with them sweeping France six to nothing, sweeping India six to nothing, and taking a tiebreaker with Italy five to four. So they're into this gold medal match here at stage three on the Archery World Cup Tour. Time to meet the trio from Deutschland. As I mentioned, led by Florian Kalund, the man who is in the middle. Alongside with Florian Kalund, actually Florian is on the left. Ended up on the left. This is Mark Rudo in the middle and on the right, Florian Loto. Florian Kalund though, the archer with the most success. He's got a gold medal from Antalya in 2014 on Coney Aldi Beach. Leading out the Americans, Colin Klimichek. The tall kid from Texas, who's been part of a team this week that picked up a 6-2 win over the Swiss in the 1-8th round. Swept Brazil, 6-zip, and won a 5-4 tiebreaker with China. Now, earlier this season in Shanghai, it was uh, Furukawa Takaharu leading Japan to a win over Korea along the Huangpu River in Shanghai. And then in Antalya on Coney Alti Beach, it was China defeating Korea. Gold medal will go to either USA or Germany here in Wrocław. Colin Klimichek on the right, Sean McLaughlin in the middle. And on the left, does he need any introduction? Brady Ellison of the United States. We know who he is. You know that guy. I know him. I know that guy. You got his autograph, didn't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> On the practice field, it says Brady. Brady Sign I'm a, this. I'm a big fan. Yeah, big fan. Sign this. <laughs> Sign my baby. So Brady Ellison, who's got the great resume, the great shot, but it's going to be Colin Klimichek leading off. Now, it'll be interesting to see if the U.S. uses that same rotation. Do you suspect that they will? You uh, should have the inside skinny you know, on all this. I wasn't paying attention to what they were doing the other day. I assume it's going to be Colin Sean Brady, Colin Sean Brady. We'll soon find out as Colin Klimichek, the 19-year-old who's having a great summer, leads off for the United States in this gold medal match. Good job. Nice. Good start. Nice job, left, yeah. left nine. I'll add, always left. And our first look at Sean McLaughlin, the 21-year-old, is ranked 71st in the world out of Cincinnati, Ohio. There we go, good job. Another strong shot. Now the 26-year-old Brady Ellison, ranked third in the world. 114 victories in his career. <laughs> there you go. That's what you're looking for from yeah. Brady Ellison. Hate to say you almost expect it. You know he feels that pressure too. Able to handle that pressure. Yeah. That's why he closes. Lorian Floto. Floats one into the center circle. So Floto, 27 years old, competing since 2007, gets Germany off to a good start. Now the 19-year-old Mark Rudeau. Ace. Okay. Leaking out into the eight ring. And a good look at Florian Kalun, 22 years old, had a great stage two in Antalya last year. Defeated Korea's Lee Sung Yun in the 1 8th oh. round before facing Kuban Chan in the finals. Had to use his spare bow in the finals. The rest on his bow had broken previously, and he went on to uh, defeat Kuban Chan for the gold medal. Good job. Oh. Let me check with a pair of nines here in the first set. Both teams shooting pretty well. 
USA with a slight advantage as Sean okay. McLaughlin draws it back. Yep. Steady as she goes. Yeah, that's a good shot. Go, Brady. Sean looks like he's been here before. Don't hold. Brady certainly has. Yeah, he knows what's <laughs> up. Over 40 medals in his illustrious career. Yep. Excellent. Right Ooh, down get the much middle. Closer. <laughs> Practice, 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 right? That's right. Hours of practice, thousands of arrows. Florian Floto putting up a fight. Now the unranked Mark Rudeau with only seven career wins to his credit. Just getting started though. Was ninth at the World Youth Championships earlier this summer in Yankton, South Dakota. Catch it, you think? I think he caught it. I think it's just touching. And that's all you need for it to be a 10. Now Kaloon. So Florian Kaloon. Lose the set, but you can tell this is gonna be a good match. So the USA picks up the two set points and grabs the early lead, 2 nothing. But we've seen already that, well, we did see in the women's gold medal match, the United States able yes. to grab the early lead and then go on and swept run with it. Georgia. Yeah, 6 nothing. We have not come close to a shoot-off as of yet. Of course, really, when you look back at yesterday, there was only one match that came close uh, yeah. to a shoot-off, and there that was were. the women's bronze medal match. Yeah. Which, by the way, was a great, great showdown between Crystal Gauvin. It was. Gauvin that was a fun one to watch. Yeah, and Linda Ochoa. I can only imagine how Steve Anderson must have been feeling. <laughs> Divided. Divided, yep. yes. Like, Shoots for oh, the United States. I know States. I'll get in trouble if I don't cheer for my wife, but. <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> Linda Ochoa winning on the last shot of that women's bronze medal match in compound yep. competition. Let it go with one second. Yes, on the she clock. did. That one was close. And she had to have a 10 to yeah. win it. And she got it. That was great match. Yeah. On the other hand, there was, I had to feel for Martin Damsbo yesterday. Oh, His release I felt breaks. So, far, so bad for that guy. And it was a great win for Steve Anderson. Take it nothing was. away. But then later on, we were leaving the venue here, driving back to the hotel. It's raining. And who do we see pulled over by the side of the road with their car broken down? It's the Danish team. They had a flat tire, <laughs> and poor Martin Damsbo's out in the rain trying to change the flat tire. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's a really, really terrible bad day. It is. That's, yeah. man, it's hard to find good things to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stay positive about there. Oh, That's rough. Yeah, Martin, his release breaks, and he loses a match, and then his tire blows out. Can't catch a break. No. Nope. Some days the sun's shining, and some days... Nine. Right now, sun shining a little bit more on Germany. Good start yeah. here in the second set. Florian Kalund, deep in thought. Taking a little extra time. Winds up in the red ring. Now back to Colin Klimichek. Two silver medals at the Youth World Championships in Yankton. A bronze medal in Antalya where he beat Brady on Coney Alti Beach. And he also just picked up a team silver medal at Toronto's Pan Am Games. Yep. Between you, Colin, Sean, and Brady sticking around, USA's yep. fortunes look very bright in men's compound. Yeah, we have, a we have some depth on our recurve on our recurve team. We'll see another guy, uh, Daniel, in Medellin. Coach Kissick Lee. Looking on as Brady Ellison comes through with a nine. So Brady, who won the gold medal in Lausanne last year at the World Cup Finals, 
notch the score at 27 here in the second set. Back to Florian Floto. Florian Floto has been very strong here in the early going for Germany. And doubled up on tens on that set. All you can ask for out of the opener. He did win a World Cup team silver medal back in 2007 in Dover. Also has a team gold medal to his credit at the European Championships in 2010. Nine. Mark Rudeau building his resume. Now Kalund, who went to the World Cup Finals in Lausanne last year, did score a five-set, 6-4 win over Pierre Plion in Lausanne. Went on to uh, drop the bronze medal match and finished fourth at the World Cup Finals. Put that one into the nine ring. Or excuse me, yes, into the nine ring. Klemicek connects. Nice, there you go. Holy. Follow it. Just keep it. Yeah, Sean McLaughlin. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sean ready. has been more than solid. He has been. Had his first good success at the um, in the qualifying day the other day, and then shot very well in the elimination rounds. Okay. See, it happens to the best of them. It does. Held on to that one for an extra second after it clicked. Wasn't ready to let it go. And yet, despite that eight from Brady Ellison, the USA is able to tie the Germans and split the set. They each get one point, so the USA goes ahead three to one. The first tied set of the day. Victory is still in reach for the next set for USA. All it takes is five total points, so if yep. the U.S. can come up with a win in the next set. Can you read their lips? No. <laughs> no, I can't. What would you assume is, is the topic of conversation? Um, I couldn't even tell you with that group, man. <laughs> Could be anything, huh? Could be anything. Could be anything. Could be video games or TV. Yeah. I was going to say, not even <laughs> remotely associated with archery, right? It may not be. Yeah. Probably talking about the wind, if I had to guess. There you go. It's, uh, yeah, let's talk about the wind. Let's talk about the wind. <laughs> it's blowing. Yeah. A little lightly. bit. Lightly. Lightly. A little bit. Diane Watson enjoying the action here. In Wrocław. Stage three of the Archery World Cup Tour, which continues in Colombia next month. Be a lot of archers heading down to South America trying to secure a spot of the World Cup Finals. Loto X. finds the middle of that target. Florian Floto has been a tower of power for the German squad. Now here's Mark Rudeau. Good. Good. Rudeau, a bronze medalist at the European Indoor Championships. Now the man who almost won a bronze medal at the World Cup Finals in Lausanne last fall. Kalund comes close. But it is a strong start. Very solid start for the German team. And Germany's got its back against the wall. They know they've got to win this set to be able to play on. Colin Klimichak comes through. Good strong shot from Colin. Now McLaughlin, who won a team silver and a team bronze at the 2013 Youth Championships in China. It's OK. Let's go. Ready. Also did well at the World Indoor Championships in Las Vegas in 2012. Yep. Nice. Yeah. 
Brady is able to come through with a shot that balances out that eight from Sean McLaughlin. Yeah, I could have called that one as soon as he let it go. That was a good shot. Loto remains on track. Now Mark Rudeau, who looked down for just a moment and looks up and finds himself in the center circle. Right where he wanted to be. We've got people looking all over the place today. You do. I saw Sean look down on his last shot too. No, oh, what's going on, man? Yeah. Maybe I'll have to start trying that. <laughs> You're a baseball player. You remember Fernando Valenzuela? Mm. For the Dodgers pitcher? No. Oh, in his windup and his motion, always looked up at the sky before he <laughs> released the pitch. <laughs> Famous for it. That's uh, funny. Go on YouTube. You'll find it. I'll check it out. I guarantee you. Check out that 10 by Cl Colin Klimichek. Sean looked off just a little bit there. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Good job. Okay, just gold game. Your yeah. coach Lee saying gold game, gold game, gold games. Keep in the gold, keep in the gold. All right. If you want anybody up there in this situation, this would be the man. Brady Ellison out of the great state of Arizona. Going for the gold right here. And the nine means we split the set. And we will play on. That's good. That's good. So the USA with a chance to put it away right there, come up one point short. They tie the set, split the points. One point goes to Germany, one point goes to the United States. And after three sets, the score is 4-2 in favor of the USA right now. It's possible to have that shoot-off situation we were talking about earlier. You hate to let opportunities go by the wayside. You do. I mean, anytime you need to tend to win, it's... <laughs> That's a pressure situation. It is a pressure situation, no question about that. And really what was telling in that set was the eight. Had it yeah. not been for the eight, this might be over. However, the U.S. and Germany will play on and give Germany a lot of credit. They had two tens and four nines in that third set. And yeah, they're struggling to hang in there. They've shot well. I mean, all of the sets are one, two points, so it's... It is, very tight match, very tight match. Tightest match we've seen of the day so far. The first three matches, one-sided to say the least, I would say. China winning the men's bronze medal 6-2. to two. The United States women winning the gold medal 6 nothing, yeah. And the Chinese women winning the bronze medal 6-2. to two. And Here you see there's only a two-point advantage cumulatively for the USA. Germany could conceivably tie this match up at four all if they can take this set. But no. Lodo hasn't been there all throughout this match. First one out of the gold. He's been consistent and strong, which is you would expect from their leadoff. Yeah. Archer. Lodo no. getting closer to the middle. He's done exactly what he's needed to. He's kept him in the goal, shot a couple tens, giving them every advantage, or every, kept been them consistent. on pace. Yeah. Yeah. Kept them on pace. Now the question is, will that seven spell doom for Germany? Depends on what Colin Klimenchek and company do. Klimenchek. Ranks 16th in the world with a 10. 10. Colin's on a roll right now. Okay. Sean, just a follow it. He doesn't feel like that was a good That's shot. <laughs> Take it to the bank. Yeah. It'll cash. Yep. Sean there McLaughlin. Go. Oh, just out. so close. Just full game. Nothing out. Brady, all business. Okay. Looks relaxed and composed. 
<laughs> and it looked like he wanted to release a yell yep. as soon as he let that shot go. So it's not over yet. Not over. Two point lead for the U.S. here in what could be the final set. But if Germany comes out strong, and Floto certainly does, he makes amends for his shot before. After that, seven comes back with a 10. Germany trying to fight back into this set, keep this match going. Mark Rudeau, the middleman, right in the middle. himself an X. Germany on the march right now. Florian Kalund, can he come through? If he does, it will make things very, very interesting. And that's nine. nine. Yeah, it'll make things yeah. interesting. For sure. So Three in the gold will do it. First time all day, the USA under the gun. With the pressure on, Colin Klimacek. Finds the first one in the gold. Gets nine. We just give two nine. Third coach, we just get two nines. Two nines well, will do it. He's been saying the whole time, gold game, gold game, gold game. Sean McLaughlin yep. got the no, arrow. It's a weird angle. Yeah, it's a yeah, nine, though. <laughs> it's a nine. So now it comes down to Brady Ellison, who shot an eight on his last arrow. Can put the match away and gets the goal. Got it. Brady Ellison brings it home. Comes through in the clutch, and the USA able to put the match away, put the team from Germany away. And the curse of target two continues. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. No, you know what? <laughs> It's all about you and the, that bow and that arrow. Yeah, it is. That was a good match. It really was. Really it was. was a lot closer than those scorecards showed. I mean, it, the whole match, there's only three points that separate USA and Germany there. That was a really, really good match. 6-2 is the final score. The USA able to loft those bows high into the sky here in Wrocław, Poland. But as uh, Zach Garrett just mentioned, that 6-2 score Years from now, we'll look at that, and that'll be a little bit deceiving. This was really well played and yeah, it hard was. fought. I mean, the first set, two-point advantage to USA. The next two draws. The last one, one-point advantage. It's, that was a really good match. USA jumped out to a 2-0 lead, split the next set to go up 3-1.